Hi guys, um, I'm gonna put on another video for, um, I think today we'll do some hip opening and shoulder opening as well as get into some hamstrings and um, hope everyone is doing well with this self-isolation period. It's I don't know, <laughs> kind of strange. Anyway, um, hope you're all well and happy and grateful that you still have your families and hopefully it'll be over soon. But I'll keep putting on some stretches to keep you all uh, lubricated. So, hopefully, I'm making this by myself, so hopefully uh, you can see me okay. I'll have to look through before I upload this. But um, maybe we'll start off by doing some sun salutations. So if you come standing onto your mat and you come to the top of the mat, <laughs> I think my head's cut off now. And, all right, so inhale and bring your arms up, thumbs to touch. Exhale, fold. Inhale, you can slide your hands up. Take, um, look straight ahead, belly in. Exhale and spread your fingers and step back to plank. So if you are working on chaturanga, um, then do chaturanga. Otherwise, you gotta keep your core in and then spread your fingers wide, lean forward and wrap your elbows into your rib cage and bend the elbows and lower down. So inhale into cobra, exhale back, curl your toes under to down dog. So take a minute here and just wiggle around. You might not be able to get your heels on the floor. And if you can't, and your knees are bending, then come up onto your toes. Stand on your toes. Push your knees back. Push your head back behind your arms so you get a nice stretch. Take some deep breaths. Then inhale, up on the toes, roll forward over your hands, push the ground away, and then step your feet up. Inhale, halfway up, belly in, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, look to the thumbs, and exhale, bring your hands down, Tadasana. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, hands up underneath your shins, and place your hands, step back to plank. So lower your knees down if you're not doing chaturanga. So here's the other variation. Slide your chest through your arms, lift the kneecaps up, look up for up dog, and then roll back to down dog. Look to your thighs for your drishti. Hope everyone's breathing. And then step forward. Inhale halfway up. Belly in. Exhale fold. And then press through your feet. Look to your thumbs, head back, and hands down. Inhale, exhale, inhale halfway up, extend the spine, belly in, exhale, place your hands and step back to plank. Lower yourself down, 
and then inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Deep breaths. Activate the bandhas. If your heels are down, lift your toes up just to activate the pelvic floor. Keep pulling it in. And then you're going to look forward, roll on the toes, press the ground away with your hands, and then step the feet up. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up and Tadasana. So we'll do two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale halfway up, exhale, spread the fingers, step back to plank and lower down. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Keep pressing into the index finger and thumb. Inhale, look forward, up on the toes, roll forward, belly in. Step your feet up to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And step back to plank. Lower yourself down. Inhale, roll through to up dog or cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. Heels apart, toes together. Really concentrate on filling yourself up. Get your lungs moving. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do pigeon. So lift the right knee up, roll forward over your hands, take the right knee out to the edge of the mat and slide the left leg back. Walk your hands back. Now you have to use your core. Inhale, lift the hands up. So optional if you want to do a little back bend. And then exhale, come down. If it hurts your knee, then you're going to bring the back knee up almost to the heel. And then you can fold forward. Kind of like flamingo, half flamingo. So, come down onto your elbows. If your hips are really tight, then you might only be able to be up onto your hands. So you choose what is the best for you. And take some deep breaths. And 
then you're going to come up onto the right toes, bend the left knee, place that to the edge of the mat, and slide the right leg back. And you can lift up your arms again if you want to do another back bend. And exhale, come down. Maybe that's better. Okay. So, we're going to do spinal balance. So, you're going to inhale, you're in table, you're going to inhale right hand, left leg up. And then take your right hand and grab your left ankle and just kick into that. And then extend again and bring the right hand and your left knee down. Inhale, left leg, left arm, right leg up. Stretch in opposite directions, keep the core engaged. And then bend the right knee and reach around and grab the right ankle. Kick into that. And then extend again. Come back down. So, we're going to just do spinal balance a few more times without the balancing. So, inhale and exhale down. And keep alternating. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale. Take your right hand up, stretch up. And then exhale, thread the needle. So you're not coming down onto the elbow or the shoulder. Use your core, keep it activated. In, exhale. Big inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and then you're going to change sides, so inhale left, exhale to the right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep the core engaged the whole time. Now before you can take um, a child's pose at any time, as you know, but I want you to feel some heat building up. So keep the body moving. So push back up to down dog. If your hamstrings are really tight, you can separate your feet. But you can keep them together. 
And then inhale, three like a dog, open up the hip. And then bring that foot back down. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale. And then you're going to bring your hands forward. Step your feet up. Have them hip width. And then you're going to lift up the right leg. Bring your torso towards your thigh. And then bring that foot down. Inhale, left leg up. Just to really get into the hamstrings. And then just grab on. Separate your feet, grab on to your elbows, let your head hang. And then you can interlock your fingers and place them at the nape of your neck. And close your eyes if you have good balance. Just to give a little more traction. Bring your arms all the way up. Bring your hand. Keep looking at your fingers. Stand into your feet. Bring your arms back a little bit. And then bring your hands behind you into walk your fingers. Bend forward. Okay, so we're going to do cow's head. So I know that sometimes people aren't going to be able to find this position very accessible. So uh, you might, if your hips are really tight, you might only be able to bring your foot over to the side of your knee. I'm not sorry. But if you can, remember how you do this. You sit like you're going to just hang out like this. And then you're going to take your top knee and then bring that around. So your knees are stacked right on top of each other. Okay, so full cow's head involves the shoulders and the hips. But before we go into that full posture, just Bring your feet out beside you and have them flexed. Okay, that's really where you're gonna get the stretch. So then use your torso, lean over your thighs so you can get more of a stretch with the body weight into the outer hip. Can you guys feel this? One side doesn't, uh, give me any, any stretch. I'm sure I'll feel it on the other one. Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand up and take the left hand back behind. So you're trying to clasp your fingers. Now, you might not be able to do that. So if you're obviously at home in self-isolation. So maybe bring a sock with you and just hang on to the sock so you can grab onto something. It's a really good front um, uh, shoulder opener. So you're going to bend forward now. This is full variation of cow's head. Keep the feet flexed and keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. And 
and come back up. Release your shoulders, realign them, bring them out to the side. And then you're gonna flip, bring your left knee on top of your right. Now, just like what happens in class, I'm sitting in front of you and you will start off on the opposite one to me. So it doesn't matter if you started off on the left. I'm on the left now. So feet out wide again, if this is successful. Okay, so you wanna really get into this left hip and then you're gonna just bend forward. So now, yeah, I feel this one. I didn't feel the right one at all. Lucky me. So breathe into any of that tightness into the left hip. And then come back up. Okay, so left hand extends up and then you're gonna bend that elbow and bring the right hand back behind you. Now, this is a little harder for me to do too. Okay, so take a deep inhale. Exhale and fold. And then come back up. Release your arms. Realign them. Release your legs. Now, Bring your knees hip width and your feet hip width. Bring your arms back behind you, arms or fingers pointing towards your butt. Okay, so you're gonna go into reverse table, really open up the heart and the collarbone um, and try and stay up for as long as you can. I know it's hard to do, but you gotta squeeze your butt up and you really want your pelvis right in line. So the benefit of this posture is that you're opening up your heart and opening up the thymus gland, which is your master immune gland. So fingers spread wide and then lift up. So you want to be right in line. Now, if you're, you, ideally you want to be able to open up your throat, right? Because this is really going to increase your metabolism as well. Go to keep squeezing the butt up to keep the hips in line. And your shoulders will burn and your arms will burn and I can hear all you guys. <laughs> but stay up for as long as you can and just keep breathing and opening. If that hurts your neck, bring your chin into your chest. Okay? But keep squeezing your butt up. This is going to rebalance your pelvis as well. And then come back down. So bring your... Well, you can shake your wrists out if you want. And get all that blood flow moving. Okay, so bring your hands right beside your hips and activate the muscles in your legs. You want your spine nice and straight. Sit up tall, pull the belly in. Have your feet, your toes pointing towards your ankles. And then press your, the heels of your palms into the mat beside you or the carpet, wherever you are. Okay, so just press in. Sit up straight. You should feel the lower belly engage right away as soon as you do that. And then just lower your head slightly and breathe. And then you're going to lift your arms up. 
and then you're going to fold forward. Okay, so you can take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes, and then inhale, extend your spine. So use your arm muscles, pull yourself forward and down. Now, if your hamstrings are really tight and your knees are up here, you're not going to be able to, to fold. It might look something like this then, right? So maybe right there you're getting a spine stretch and a hamstring stretch. So that's no worries at all. Do what you can, but just breathe into it and extend the hamstrings and the spine. Release your lower back. And then come back up. Take the right foot, bring it in to the left inner thigh. And then you're going to bring your arms up first. Take your left hand to your right knee and right hand behind you. So sit up nice and straight. Push through this back hand here. Inhale, exhale, twist. forward. So this is all going to release inner thighs, hamstrings, lower back. Plus you're getting detoxification with all the twisting. And then come back up and release that. Stretch out your right leg, bring the left foot into the right inner thigh. You're going to inhale, lift your arms up, take your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, exhale and twist. Keep the right leg active so the feet, the toes are pointing up. And then release that and then you're going to fold forward. So remember, you might get a stretch right here, whereas another person needs to go all the way down. There's no wrong way to do it. So just use your fingers, walk them out, and see where you can get to without the foot flopping, okay? Because there's no stretch if the foot flops down. Then just fold. Okay, so another hip opener, and um, if you find that it's hard for you to sit up, maybe I'll show you. Okay, lots of times people have a hard time with this, so what you're going to do is you're going to bring your foot into half flamingo and use a wall to support your spine. If your core muscles and your back are not allowing you to sit without a, a wall. Then what you do is you bend your foot, or bend your knee, and bring that foot in. So this might be way too much for some people, right? And maybe you can do this without using a wall, but this is what you do. openers. Keep breathing even though you're sitting like this. So then you you would switch sides. 
And just hold for a few breaths on each side. Okay, so switch, switch legs. So you can support yourself with your hands back behind you too if you want. We should get a really nice stretch or a nice steam feeling going through. I'm on my left, so on the left side of the hip. And then release that. So bring your feet into Baddha And then you can just butterfly your knees, get rid of some hip tension. So, I'm not going to see this time. Um, the, next, the next one is a, a spinal grind, which before the self isolation, you guys used to do all the time in class. So, for the ones that um, find it uncomfortable in their pelvis to sit cross legged, you can certainly separate your legs and just make some circles and go around, right? So you're just loosening up. Otherwise, just bring your, your feet into Sukhasana, easy pose. And go, you can close your eyes and breathe and go in one direction. So if your hips are up here, you might be like this. Okay. Well, hopefully, the more times that you keep practicing regularly, the hips will start to come down. And even when we're doing this, I still am squeezing the bandhas. Come sit up nice and tall. And then you're going to just move your spine back and forth. Actually, before we do that. So if your legs are out like this, you can still do it this way. Bring your hands in front of you, spread your fingers wide, and then you're going to push the ground away from you. So you can really open up in between the shoulder blades. So you can do this with um, in easy pose or you can do it stretched out. Just go up your head. Okay. If your legs are straight out in front of you, you can bring your left hand up, bring it to the right knee, take another twist, so press into that right hand and look behind you to the best of your ability and breathe. You want to stimulate those organs. Inhale 
and take the right hand to the left knee, press into the left hand and twist and look behind you. So, you guys have all done this one before. Lay down onto your back, separate your feet, hip width, and you're just gonna windshield wiper. So take alternating knees and bring them down to the center of the mat. Now, if your lower back, which likely you're not allowed to really go anywhere, so you might not have a whole lot of movement right now, um, sitting too much, the lower back might feel just really tight. So there doesn't need to be an exaggerated motion. Just be gentle with yourself and breathe. Just feel what your body is doing. If it feels really tight, just give yourself some more love. And then bring your feet up and you're going to cross your legs like you're going to sit down. Let the knees flop. Grab onto either ankle, kind of like cow's pose, cow's face. Flex the feet, pull. Now you can take interlock your fingers and place them on the front facing knee and pull down towards you. Or you can grab onto your shins and pull your thighs towards your chest. Just take some deep breaths here. Get into the IT band. And then release and switch sides. Bring your feet up and just make some circles. So you can have your hands behind you, you can have them on your belly, you can have them underneath your butt, you can have them behind your legs. If your legs feel heavy and the hip flexors feel weak, but just get all that clicking, snap, crackle, pop out. And then point and flex. Make some fists with your toes and the front of your feet. Get a, a really nice stretch. So. Um, for the purposes of all the kids and everyone at home and stuff, you might not have a whole lot of time to do an hour long video like we would do in class. So you have some options here. You can lay down on your back into Sutta Baddha Konasana and just hang out here. You can have one hand on your navel and one hand on your heart just to focus in and breathe you can lay here for a little bit and then go into savasana or you can go into savasana just kick your feet out let your body be heavy relax all the muscles all the way from the head all the way down to the toes through and release all that energy that you don't need anymore through those fingers so you can make space for new energy.
So take as long as you want. Thank you for joining me. Just activate all of the uh, neural pathways. And namaste. Have a beautiful day.